In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept of differentiability. The problem is regarding some variables. Let's see what the problem has to say. For what choice of A and B? A and B values are needed, so I have already underlined them. For what choice of values of A and B, the function split into two halves is differentiable at x is equal to C. Already the heading solution is made. That means you have been given a function. The function has been already said that it is differentiable at x is equal to c. With the knowledge of differentiability, you have to find out the values of a and b involved. Now, I know that every differentiable function is continuous. And I have to find two values. Two values, one of a, one of b. That means I need at least two equations for this. So, let us find out the values of a and b using two equations. Now all of you might think that one equation will be obtained from the knowledge that this function is differentiable. How to find out the other equation? Not a big deal. We know that every differentiable function is continuous. So we'll be using that knowledge. Let's write down every differentiable function, every differentiable function is continuous. And we know this, so now we'll be doing something related to continuity also. Only then we can find out the other equation. Now continuity says what? Continuity says LHL should be equal to RHL should be equal to the value of the function. What is the value of the function at the given value? Given value is C. When X is equal to C, it is X square. So that means it should be C square. And what about the limits? The limits should exist and they should exist finitely and equal. So what is the right hand limit? The right hand limit is ax plus b. So directly without any limits and putting of x tending to c, I just directly substitute a into c plus b is the equation that I get. Right? And LHL will be what? LHL will be again c square only. Let's not use that. So I have one equation c square is equal to ab comparing these two things. Now continuity has given me one equation. Let's find out the other with the help of differentiability. The left hand derivative should be equal to the right hand derivative in short that I write at x is equal to c. Again here at x is equal to c. Right? Now what is the left hand derivative? Left hand derivative will be using this expression. I write here limit x tends to c negative f of x minus f of a upon x minus a. This time it is not a, this time it is c, mind it, right? Here also limit x tends to c positive f of x minus f of a upon x minus a or c. Now here it is c minus. c minus means we have to look for the expression which is on the lesser side of c, left hand side of c. Left hand side means x square. So wherever it is fx, you'll be writing x square. So it is x square minus f of c. f of c means in this very expression, f of c equal to c, it should be c square upon x minus c. Limit pertains as it is, limit remains as it is. You can always even separate the limit in this step itself. There is no issue with it, right? Limit x tends to c plus. I write here, limit x tends to c plus, you can always ignore the limits in this step. I am again telling you, f of x means greater than c, greater than c, ax plus b minus f of c. f of c means in this expression, you need to basically write c square, c square. But what else is c square equal to? Isn't it equal to ac plus b? Let's now substitute the value of c square from 1 so it becomes ac plus b and this is from 1. Why have we done this? You will understand in the next step x minus c, right? Now b and minus b gets cancelled. Here at least we have one formula a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. So it is x square minus c square which is equal to x plus c into x minus c. x minus c, x minus c gets cancelled so it becomes x plus c. Here I write limit x tends to c 
x plus c. This is why I did not ignore the limits because later on you have to put the value of c. Now it is equal to here a and a can actually become out as common so it did limit x tends to c a comes out as common and x minus c x minus c x minus c in the numerator x minus c in the denominator gets cancelled so i have into one now what are we left with basically you can always put this c so c plus c is equal to limit x tends to c and here it is a now c plus c is 2c is equal to a so a is having the value of 2c that is my answer for the value of a but what about b here i have this expression let's use this expression using 1 let me write it again c square is equal to ac plus b i need to find out the value of b so c square minus ac is equal to b now what is a a is equal to 2c so c square minus 2c square is equal to b right c square minus 2c square is what minus c square so even i have the value of b now these are my answers the value of a is equal to 2c the value of b is equal to minus c square